why do you think we Africans normally are so scared and don't even want to try it here on the continent? It's because of what you've been told. Sometimes yeah. you can't really blame people. We need to start spreading positivity, mm. not negativity. Mm. Bad news spreads. Good news doesn't. Mm. So the likes of yourself, whether Maya and other people, they try and show us the positivity. Mm. I did when I stumble into you Me know too. your program, yeah. I'm like, oh okay, there are people doing it. Mm. I didn't die, they survived. <laughs> you know, what's holding me back? The only thing that's holding me back is fear. And the worst thing to fear is fear itself. Don't believe the hype. Mm. Don't believe the hype. Do it now. Mm. The worst thing to fear is fear itself. Mm. Don't be afraid. Mm. This is where you're from. Everybody look like you. Mm. It's time. Mm. Africa is the next big thing. Let's not wait for our leaders to do things. Let's do things ourselves. Mm. Stop the bickering. Mm. Stop asking government, government, government. Do it yourself. You mm. can do it. It's here. Mm. If we don't come here and be owners of our land, we become tenants of our land. So do it there. I'm in the middle of Lagos, literally, and this gentleman just came up to me, and this is what he had to say. I've been watching Captain for a long time. I've seen all the, most of his interviews, you know, I'm full of people like Vladimir. They actually inspired me. I'm trying to, to set up shop in Africa mm -hmm. because of people like him. I've been in business for eight years in the in, in Ireland mm -hmm. and I just thought when I was watching interview mm -hmm. with, with, with a lot of successful mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. I just thought, why can't I bring mm -hmm. this to Africa? Mm -hmm. This is an African product Absolutely. doing well yeah. here. Yeah. I've been away for 16 years. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I just decided to come back now, so so to meet my people, to know my people, and to see what's going on. This is for me. This is a feasibility story. That's a sign. And I've been in a lot of places, but look I, who I met. It's just amazing. That's a sign that it's you're doing exactly, what you're supposed exactly, to be doing, and you're right exactly, where you're supposed to be. Exactly, exactly. And that is amazing. And Hayford is doing an interview right. Oops, Hayford is doing an interview right now. But when he's done, he's going to be so excited to yeah, meet you. I just wanted this to meet him. Just shake his hand. This just is shake this his is, hand and say hello. This is awesome. And say you inspired me. And, and that will inspire him to keep doing what keep he's doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, you're doing the right thing. That's amazing. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, guess who I just met? Uh, who did you just meet? <laughs> I just met Michael. Michael? Yes. Okay. His brand is... Oh, shoot. What is it? Something safari. But yeah. he has a story to tell you. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Come and meet him. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Nice to meet That's you. a strong handshake. You're yeah. literally here. <laughs> yeah. nice you me. inspired me. Man. Yeah. I watched a program and I bought a ticket to come to Africa. I've not been here for 16 years. Jesus Christ. Yes. Aww. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes. My name is Michael from Flavor Safari in Ireland. I have a business which is local Irish ingredient infusion. African spices. I've always wanted to come back to the continent and see what I can do, but there's always fear. Like before I came here, oh, you're gonna do this, you're gonna be kidnapped. Nah, but I came here, it's totally different picture on the ground. It's crazy. And I just, I, I came to change some dollars from Euro because I'm going back tomorrow. Okay. And we just had to come in just to get a drink before we go because they see me off tomorrow. And I mean, look who I run into. Look who I run That's absolutely amazing. It's yeah. just. Thank you I mean, for your work and I really, really appreciate you and I appreciate you guys. What you are doing is amazing. I mean, wow. messages like this is what inspired us. Oh my us God. To do what we wow, wow, wow. I watched your interview with that that, that guy, that Tom. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, did, he did a boss with, yeah. a, with wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that one. I also watched the girl that had a boyfriend here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boyfriend in, that came with a, bo a boyfriend to Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From UK. That went to Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you inspire me. I want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. My pleasure. You. And I am a fan. I'm giving her my card. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And keep in touch. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. But I will be back again in January. Mm -hmm. And um, my business is going to be in Nairobi soon. Nairobi? Yes. Oh, Kenya? Yes. I was afraid of so Nigeria. You're, you're Nigerian. I'm Nigerian, yeah. <laughs> And I, I was, I'm an Nigerian, but I was really, really afraid. Everybody said they're going to do this in Nigeria. So, so I'm talking to retailers in Nairobi, and they're very impressed with the product. Mm. And, and I actually brought the product here. Do you mind if I give you some of the product? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Man. I'll bring the product to you. Yeah, no problem. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the power of social media. Yes. You don't know who is watching. That's the thing. You don't know who, who is watching, who you are inspiring. And messages like this, it's it like a fuel. <laughs> Man. It fills your tank, right? It allows you to keep That's going, amazing. doesn't it? I knew it was so amazing when he said that. I was like, oh, you have to oh, tell wow. him, please. And it's good. It's <laughs>
<laughs> it's good you got it on camera. Normally, like, I've, I've had a few people, I've never had it on camera. No, this was, this was amazing. Like, I love that. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm inspired by what you just said. I'm motivated. Um, Michael, that's your Michael, name. Yes. You said you literally did your own food product. Talk to me about it. I mean, introduce yourself first. And then you talked to me about what you have here yep. and how everything came into be. Yep. And how they told you you were so scared yeah. <laughs> of coming back to your yeah. own country. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Well, my name is Michael. Yeah. Michael from the Jungle Food Company. Jungle Food Company is the owner of Flavor Safari mm. and I'm the owner of the company. Mm. It's Ireland first mm. African mm -hmm. inspired sauce range, mm. local Irish ingredient infusion with mm. African spices. Interesting. Yes. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I know? started this business eight years ago. Eight years ago? Yes. Okay. Did you start yes. with the African infusion uh, okay, spice or you started with the Irish? No, what it is is um, when I wanted to start this business, I looked into the Irish market mm -hmm. and there was a lot of Asian influence. Okay. There was, you know, the Chinese, mm -hmm. the Indian, mm -hmm. the Italian, the yeah. Caribbean, which is also a little bit African yeah. because African culture. Yeah. There was nothing really African, authentic African. Mm. So that was a light bulb moment for me. So I said, okay, why, can, why don't I create something different? Something that will actually add value to what is in the market already. And I came up with this. This, this is called Flavor Safari. It's Ireland first African inspired sauce room. It's fusion, local Irish ingredient, African spices. And it's been amazing since then. Interesting. And even the jar are unique. Yeah. Most jars you see with sauces they're different. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to the to the as far as getting this totally different jar. Mm -hmm. And what I like so far is that the um, giraffe skin. Yes, is African connotation. All this sauce is designed to match the temperament mm. of the beast. Mm. What we have here is mild tomato and herb. Okay. When you see a a giraffe, what do yeah. you think? A giraffe is gentle, yeah. elegant, yes. and moves slowly. So yeah. it's a mild animal. I see. Okay? And we also have spicy mm. olive and mm. tomato. Mm. When you think of uh, 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 zebra, zebra, zebra could be nice, but could be dangerous too, because mm. it has a, a kick. <laughs> that has a fantastic yeah. kick. I see. And you know what happens when you meet a leopard? Yeah. You get big. Yeah. That's really spicy. <laughs> Interesting. This, I mean, look. What you said to me really kind of hit me when you said I was so scared of coming back home to, you know, even establish this. You, you did this in Ireland yes. for, for the Ireland people to enjoy, yeah. but you wanted to even bring it back to where you came from. You were scared of it. Yes. Let's talk about that. I'm from Nigeria. Yeah. And the last time I was in this country is 16 years ago mm. when I came to bury my dad and also wow. my brother. Yeah. And since then, I've always been afraid to come back because you always hear this bad news about oh people getting kidnapped, something happening here, they're gonna shoot you, this and that. And coming to the ground is a totally different picture. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I even went to the I went to my village back home, which is a dose state. Okay. In Nigeria, a place called Okwela. Okay. And it's close to Abuja. Mm -hmm close to the north and it was peaceful. We wow. drove on the road and there's a, there was a lot of checkpoints but there was nothing really scary. Mm. I totally enjoyed myself. Wow. But you know, bad news travel fast. Good news don't travel. But I'm gonna be going back and say, listen, yeah. all this, you know, bad news they're giving, all this, yeah. they're not true really. Yeah. I mean, we, we have things happening here and there. It happens it everywhere, everywhere in the world, yeah. Yes. Mm. But by and large, so far, it's a very, very enjoyable trip. And all the fear-mongering yeah. and all the scare-mongering, nothing. I'm happy to hear that. But let, let me go back to your story, though. Yeah. How did you end up in Ireland? <laughs> My wife is from Ireland. Oh, really? Okay, yes. awesome, awesome. Yes. Talk to me about it. I mean, you, you were born in Nigeria, yes. moved to Ireland, or you yes. were born in Ireland? No, I, I was born in Nigeria. Okay, so... I'm a really a Niger guy. A Niger guy. A Niger, I'm a Lagos. I'm, one, I'm, in, I'm from one of the most... Um, iconic area in Lagos. It's called like Jegule. Okay. It's called the Jungle City. Okay. And that's where the name comes from. The Jungle Food Company. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So, so talk to me about your upbringing here, in, I mean, on the continent, and you got into the point, even getting the opportunity, you, if you call it, 
to go to Ireland and then you know getting married there. Now you wanted to move in, move yes. back to the continent. Well, I grew up surrounded by food and mm. spices. Mm. My mom owned a food business, a food stall in a busy African market, as you can see on the yeah. street. So I grew up, you know, you know, experimenting with food, mm. experimenting with spices. So I grew up in a place called Ajegule. Mm -hmm. I was there till about 19 before I decided to leave the country. Okay. You know, I went to, 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 to see the world, to yeah. see, you, you know what I mean? So it's been amazing since then. Mm -hmm. And I happened to meet my wife, she's, she's from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have kids and mm -hmm. you know, we've been, you know, this business started eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And I started with about seven stores, and I'm in loads of stores now. Now the king of England and came to your your track, yes. your food to taste you know, yes. your products. Yes. Talk, walk me through that moment when that happened. Well, it, it, it was funny because I didn't know who I was, who I was going to meet mm. because they said because I won um, um, uh, best food in Ireland, mm. Mm. micro you business won that. award. Yes. Oh wow. So they said, you know, we're going to get somebody to try your product. Somebody wants to try your product, but we can't tell you the person really? because of security reasons. Wow. So we have to do a police check on you, really? a security check on you. And then, so I said, who is this person? <laughs> I was saying, I've met, you know, the Prime Minister of Ireland. I didn't really go through Not all this that. protocol. But okay, they did the, the, the uh, security check and everything. And on the day, there was dogs smelling all my product. Who is this person? <laughs> Um, the helicopters, the security, everywhere was packed. And the next thing I saw, this guy coming. I was like, wow. wow. You know, this is who I see on TV growing up, you know. So I said, oh, wow. And he wanted to, was talking to me and everything. And, you know, he said, I'm not allowed to take anything. But I said, no, this is a gift from me to you. Mm. You know, he said, no, I'm not allowed to touch anything. But I said, but you are the, you are the prince. Yeah. It was Prince Charles then. Yeah. So I convinced him and said, go on then. And he took it, you know, and it's like, yeah. wow. And it's been amazing since wow. then, you know. I didn't know I was going to meet him. Yeah. They just said, somebody want to try your product. Yeah. We don't, we can't tell you yeah. for security reasons. Yeah. But we have to do a police check. I like that. But the beginning of it, I mean, I want to go down to when the idea came. I mean, you saw that there wasn't something like that in the market. Yes. What was it like? I mean, the challenges you had to go through to be able to get to this point, eight years into this business. Yes, yes. Well, most of the challenges is, is you know, you get financial challenges mm. because I, I worked on behalf of UK and Irish banks. Okay. And um, I decided to, to do what I'm passionate about, mm. what I love doing, what I grew up doing. Because for me, this is not a job. This mm. is what I love. Sometimes I could be working for, for 16 hours. I don't even realize after really? I lunch because That's I love so doing it. About. Yeah, passionate about food. I'm passionate about Africa. I'm passionate about African food. Somebody asked me, um, I don't know. Um, I can't really, is this African food? I said, well, you know, where do you think chocolate is from? <laughs> yeah. He said, I don't really, I don't know if I like African food. I said, do you have a cocoa tree in yeah. Europe? No, yeah. you don't. It comes from Africa. I said, wow, I didn't think about it that way. Like because sometimes yeah. people don't really know because of the narrative, bro, the story that's been told, exactly why I face coming back here. People are saying, don't come, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. But I'm here peacefully. Yeah. We're in the back background of one of the most amazing hotels in the yeah. country. And yeah. things are going really peaceful. Everybody's happy. Despite the challenges, people are still resilient and happy. You know, so I guess this is why I actually want to come and experience mm. myself. And mm. watching a program like yours actually inspired me. Mm. I was okay. watching you two weeks ago. I saw you. On, <laughs> I was watching you two weeks ago. Uh, and I realized, <laughs> damn, it's time to do it. Mm -hmm. No need to put it, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I said, no, it's time to do it. Mm. I've heard so many positive things. So I'm going to dwell on the positive, not mm. the negativity. I like that. Buy that ticket and do it. And then you did. Yeah, I am. And I met you today. I'm like, what a crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> I, was, I was meant to be gone because I'm going back yeah. tomorrow. And I saw, I said, I gotta talk to her. Yeah. This guy wow. inspired me. People like yourself, people like Wodemaya wow. and all these guys. Tayo, wow. I know. Yeah, I'm Tayo, I know. Yeah, I yeah. looked in all these things. I said, man, it's about time. Yeah, yes, sir. You know, so I, I went to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I started meeting, you know, retailers. They seem to be happy with the product because it's unique, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's done by an African mm -hmm. person. That's me right there. I made it. Yeah, I see that. This is amazing. You know? So this is a great achievement for African, you yes. know, Africa. Um, you being a Nigerian and having such a product. Yeah. So, 
Where are you planning on distributing this? I mean, Nairobi? Yes. Kenya? First of all, I'm starting with Nairobi. Okay. Because Nairobi, they're getting into this um, East African Union. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to set up shop in Africa. But I picked Nairobi because, you know, Nairobi seemed to be, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't say the most stable or something like that. But I just thought that was where it, it my instinct yes, mm. decided to go first. Mm. I know I'm Nigeria, I go to right. come to Nigeria, but I haven't studied Nigerian market. Nigerian market <laughs> is a different ball game. Yeah. Because we have lots of food and people cook at all. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So so it's a different ball game. But I'm, I'm, I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna to come to Nigeria, so maybe I have to do a different version to yeah. Nigeria mm -hmm. because maybe Nigeria will like your pepe. <laughs> pepe, we love pepe, yeah. pepe soup, jello fries. Mm -hmm. The one thing about the sauce yeah. is versatile. It works with everything. Mm. Throw it on your rice, on your pasta, spaghetti bolognese, mm. lasagna, shepherd's pie as a dipping sauce, mm. as a side, side to your cheese board, a salad. It does everything. everything. Most everything. sauces you only do pasta, mm. only rice. This can be your jello fries as well. Interesting. Yes. Really? Wow. I'm not gonna go into jello fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we are we are wrong. Oh, we are wrong. <laughs> it's because of diplomatic rounds, so I don't go there. Oh, yeah. interesting. Look, let's dive into it. the mindset. You've been mentioned about the mindset a little bit. Why do you think we Africans normally are so scared and don't even want to try it here on the continent? It's because of what you've been told. Sometimes yeah. you can't really blame people. We need to start spreading positivity, mm. not negativity. Mm. Bad news spreads. Good news doesn't. Mm. So the likes of yourself, mm -hmm. what am I and mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. they try and show us the positivity. Mm -hmm. I didn't when I stumbled into you mm -hmm. know your program, yeah. I'm like, oh okay, there mm -hmm. are people doing it. Mm -hmm. I didn't die, they survived. <laughs> you know, what's holding me back? The only thing that's holding me back is fear. And the worst thing to fear is fear itself. So I just said, no, it's about time. 16 yeah. years, I've not been here 16 years. Wow. I said, I better go back before they forget about me. Yeah. <laughs> you used to have family ties. Well, this is my family right oh, wow. here. They're right wow. here. And they supported me all the way. Mm. You know, I, we grew up together, I grew up cooking. How know? was it, the expression when they saw you for the first time? When wow, when I got to the airport in Lagos, mm. in Motala Mohammed Airport, I've been away for so long, it's like, I'm like, why is everybody running? My yeah. brother said, no, this is normal. Nobody's running. I was like, okay, maybe I have to adjust. Yeah, yeah. Then I start to adjust to the, to, to the this is where the I grew up. Yeah. But it was strange to me to see everybody washing. I'm like, ah, what's going on? <laughs> Before I come out, I say, is everything okay? Mm. He said, this is normal. Yeah. So I immersed myself in the culture again. And it's just slowed down for me. I'm now enjoying, but I have to go again. I'm like, damn. So I'm coming back again, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Your story is very inspiring. If you if you have three things to, I mean, share with the world based on what you thought Africa was and what you find out it is now, yeah. uh, what would that three things be? Don't believe the hype. Mm. Don't believe the hype. Mm. Do it now. Mm. The worst is the fear. It's fear itself. Mm. Don't be afraid. Mm. This is where you're from. Everybody look like you. Mm -hmm. It's time. Mm -hmm. Africa is the next big thing. Africa, we have the youngest population in the world. You know, we have all the natural resources. We know we have problems with our leaders, but let's not wait for our leaders to do things. Let's do things ourselves. Mm. Stop the bickering. Mm -hmm. Stop asking government, government, government. Do it yourself. You mm. can do it. It's here. Mm. If we don't come here, and be owners of our land will become tenants of our land so do it now now you obviously you've, you've heard a crisscross happening diaspora believe that everything is down here in, in, yeah. in africa yeah. and then the youth believe everything is in the west what do you think we can begin to do right now to change that first of all a journey of a thousand miles begin with a step you need to come home mm. come home mm. i've not been here for 16 years i come long, here now it's you know? different it's absolutely <laughs> different Things are happening, the economy is growing, there is challenges, mm -hmm. but I don't expect the same lifestyle that I lived over here to live the same lifestyle here. Mm -hmm. There's changes, you have to adapt, this is where we were born, you know, and it's about coming back home to, to, to bring back your experience, it's very valuable. Mm -hmm. You learn every day, you can even learn something from it, wherever you have there, bring it. You know, you learn from me as well, and bring, you can bring it there too. Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying don't jackpot, but now it's jackpot. <laughs> Come back. 
I like that. If you have a final message uh, for the world, what would that message be? Africa is the next big thing. If you don't come, you become a tenant in Africa. Come and grab your cake. It's right here. It's waiting for you. Come back home. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, it's been a great, a great conversation. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. I appreciate the work you do. People like you inspire me to come back home. It's amazing. I, it's like I'm dreaming now, but yeah. maybe I pinch myself if I go ah, to make no, sure it's real. real. I mean, you've met Ken, Ken Charles. I'm sure it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's very. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Man, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate All you. Right. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, uh, comment down below. Let's get the engagement going. And uh, yeah, let's say bye-bye to the people watching, all right? Excellent. Peace. Thank you, peace. Uh, <laughs>